Well, let us talk about kale. Kale is a leafy green vegetable that belongs to the brassica family, which also includes cabbage, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Kale is known for its nutritional value, as it is rich in vitamins A, C, and K, as well as minerals like calcium and iron. It is currently a trendy vegetable and a common ingredient in salads, soups, stews, and other dishes. Let us learn about different types of kale. Here we go. Number 1. Curly Kale Curly kale has dark green or bluish green leaves that are tightly curled and fringed at the edges. The leaves form a dense rosette-like structure, and their curly nature gives this kale variety a distinctive appearance. Curly kale has a slightly bitter and earthy flavor, which can vary depending on factors like the growing conditions and maturity of the plant. Younger leaves tend to have a milder taste, while older leaves can be more assertive in flavor. Curly kale can be lightly steamed stir-fried, or added to soups, stews, and casseroles. Number 2. Lacinato Kale Lacinato Kale has long, slender leaves that are dark green or bluish green in color. The leaves are distinctively wrinkled, with a texture that resembles the rough skin of a dinosaur, giving it the nickname Dinosaur Kale. Unlike Curly Kale, Lacinato kale has a flat leaf structure with a pronounced central vein. Lacinato kale has a slightly sweeter and milder taste compared to curly kale. Lacinato kale can be lightly cooked or added to soups, stews, stir fries, and pasta dishes. Number 3. Red Russian kale. Red Russian kale features flat, fringed leaves that are green with reddish purple veins. The leaves are broader and smoother compared to the curly kale variety. As the name suggests, this kale variety has a reddish hue in its leaves, which intensifies as the plant matures, or when exposed to colder temperatures. Red Russian kale has a milder flavor. It is less bitter and more delicate on the palate. The flavor profile of red Russian kale can be described as earthy and slightly nutty. Number 4. Redbur kale. Redbur kale can be distinguished from other kale varieties, simply by its deep red and maroon color. The redbur kale has frilly, curled leaves that have deep purple stems and veins running throughout. Some plants are entirely magenta, thought at times. Others may have leaves that are tinged with green. The stems lack the fibrous texture of the mature plant and are tender and sweet. It is similar in texture to baby broccoli and offers an earthy kale flavor with a mild nutty finish. Redbur kale can be lightly cooked by steaming, sauteing or stir-frying, which helps retain its color and texture. It pairs well with ingredients like garlic, lemon, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. Number 5. Chinese Kale Chinese kale has long, thick stalks with dark green, broad leaves. The stalks are firm and crisp, while the leaves are smooth and glossy. The vegetable resembles broccoli, but the florets are not as pronounced. Chinese kale has a mild and slightly bitter flavor, similar to broccoli but with a hint of sweetness. The stalks offer a pleasant crunch, while the leaves have a tender texture. The overall taste is more subtle compared to traditional kale varieties. It is often included in stir-fries, soups, noodle dishes, and hot pots. Chinese kale pairs well with garlic, ginger, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Number 6. Siberian Kale Siberian Kale also known as Russian kale or Siberian blue kale. Siberian kale has frilly, deeply lobed leaves that are bluish green in color. The leaves are slightly textured and have a ruffled appearance. Compared to other kale varieties, the leaves of Siberian kale are broader and more rounded. It is less bitter and has a subtle earthy taste. Siberian kale is versatile in the kitchen and can be used in a variety of ways. It can be enjoyed raw in salads where its mild flavor and attractive appearance add depth and color. It can also be lightly cooked by steaming or stir-frying. It can as well be used in soups, stews, and casseroles, or as a side dish. Number 7. Portuguese Kale Portuguese kale has large, flat leaves that are textured and wrinkled. The leaves are bluish-green in color and have a slightly waxy appearance. The plant itself has a sturdy, thick stem that can grow up to several feet in height. Portuguese kale has a unique flavor that is slightly bitter and earthy. The bitterness becomes milder when cooked, making it more palatable. It has a hearty and robust taste that complements other ingredients and in dishes, particularly in soups and stews. Number 8. Sprouting Black Kale Sprouting Black Kale grows in loose bundles and produces narrow blade-like leaves that are gently wrinkled. The stems lack the fibrous texture of the mature plant 
and are tender and sweet. They may be eaten like asparagus or baby broccoli. Its flavor is milder and sweeter than the larger black kale leaves, and is reminiscent of sweet peas with a nutty earthy finish. Small yellow flowers may develop when temperatures warm, and are entirely edible. Sprouting black kale may be used similarly to other kale varieties. It is particularly great in hearty soups which contain smoked meats, potatoes, beans or barley. Number 9. Sea kale. Sea kale plants grow large in size and form clumps of spreading leaves. The silver-gray, deeply lobed leaves grow in a rosette pattern and have fleshy waved edges with a velvety texture. Sea kale also bears numerous white flowers and pea-sized green pods containing one edible, light green seed inside. Sea kale is crisp and chewy with a bitter green and slightly nutty taste. Young leaves, stems, and seed pods can be used raw in salads or as a garnish. The flower stems are comparable to broccoli and can be boiled or steamed for a crunchy side dish. The stalks are often blanched or peeled to remove their fibrous outer layer and can be cooked and used in stir-fries, soups, or gratins. Sea kale pairs well with flavors such as lemon, garlic, butter, and olive oil. Number 10. White Peacock Kale White peacock kale stands out from other kale varieties in its appearance and texture. It can easily be distinguished by its deeply serrated vibrant variegated green and ivory white leaves, and thick, fleshy, milky white ribs. The leaves are crisp yet tender, with a sweet, earthy flavor, and mild cruciferous, subtle peppery undertones. Late winter and early spring provide the sweetest and most tender peacock kale. White peacock kale can be used in any recipe calling for kale. It can be utilized both raw and cooked. It is often found in salad mixes and braising green mixes with other greens, such as mustard, arugula, chicories, spinach, red and green lettuces. We have come to the end of our video. I hope it has been helpful in improving your knowledge about kales. Thank you for watching.